Hi guys, it's the Power BI guy here and today we're going to cover page navigation in Power BI and how to create these interactive buttons where if you want to change pages, it, when you hover over a different page, the formatting changes and it actually feels like an interactive navigation. So for example, we just click revenue and as we can see, summary has now gone grey and revenue has been highlighted as that's the page that we've selected. And if we go back to summary, now that revenue is no longer white and that has been greyed out. And we can also do this with icons. So for example, in this report here, we have selected the global page. And if I wanted to select the summary page, if I click that, the global page is now no longer highlighted. So that's what we're going to cover. And without further ado, let's begin. So in order to create our navigation, we need to utilize the function of buttons. So what we need to do is if we go to insert, buttons we want to bring in a blank button and this is going to be our navigation tool so what we're going to do is let's bring that into where you want to have your navigation selections and let's just drop that there now the first thing we want to do is if we click this button let's give our navigation tabs text so for example this tab we're going to call it summary as this is going to be the summary page in our navigation bar so what we need to do is click the button and then if we go to format so this should be here format button we want to go to button text and then enable and then button text give that your tab name so in our example here we're going to call that summary so we now have our first button let's get our formatting right because we're going to copy and paste these so let's just sort out our text so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use segway ui bold let's make it slightly bigger and our default state, so as you can see, our default state, so this is before it's been selected, just what the state is in its current form, we want that to be grey. So right now, I want this to be grey, and I'm going to turn off outline. So now, as you can see, we have our first button. Let's make that a little bit lighter, actually. I think that's a bit too dark. So what we're going to do is use a, a lighter grey, and I think that's a lot nicer. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so we have our first tab. Now, what we want to do is let's copy and paste these buttons for the tabs that we're going to create pages for. So what I'm going to do is select that, control C and paste. Let's just paste these and let's do this a few times for our different pages. So I'm going to paste this and let's say we had four pages that we wanted to put in our navigation bar. Now I'm going to change the name of all these buttons. So let's call this revenue. Let's call this. Um, let's call this sales for example and then let's call this global so these are our five pages that in, in theory that we have now because we're on our summary page the first page so let's bring in a visual so I'm just going to bring in a visual onto this page and this can be whatever you want so I'm going to paste that here and we want to, we want this to be our summary page let me bring in one more visual we want this to be our summary page in our nav bar. What we want to do is, as this is the page we have selected, we want to click this button, go to button text, default state, and then default state, and then put the font color to white. As this is the page that we have selected, this is our home page, the summary page, so we want the default state for this to be white. However, if we're hovering over the, over the other tabs right now, nothing's happening. So what we need to do is if we hold shift and select all these buttons, what we can do once again, go to button text. And now instead of default state, we want to go to on hover so that when we hover over the image, the buttons, we want the text to go white. And if we do that now, as you can see, as we're hovering over, the buttons are now interacting with our mouse. Now, let's sort out the spacing this is just another tool that you can use to sort out spacing of buttons if we just hold shift click and select all of them go to view sorry format align and let's just distribute vertically and now it's evenly gapped them out let's make it a bit wider i don't like this being that close so what i'm going to do just put them space them out hold shift summary uh, format distribute vertically and now they're evenly spread out okay so now we've made our first page. What we want to do is for our second page, we need to have another page. So what we're going to do is let's just duplicate this page and call this revenue example. And let me just make, bring in another visual as you have these pages already, but I'm just going to create another page quickly. 
for revenue. So let's just bring in these two vis visuals. So I'm gonna select these two, control C, bring that into revenue and let's paste that there. So this is our second page in our report. You might have something else, but okay. What we want to do now, as we now have our second page, we want to go to our original button. As this is not the page anymore, we need to go to button text and now make this default state the same as the others. So what we're going to do is make that gray. And now as we're selected this page, we want to go here, button text, and now we want the default state to be white. And we need to put the hover state back on this. So on hover, we select white. So if we go over it, it is white. And as you can see, we now have two pages. As this is the revenue page, this is now highlighted. And if we go to the summary page, the summary button is highlighted. So the whole process is replicating your button. So changing between the default state on the pages that you have. So currently we're on summary. So we want the default state to be white. And then if we create another page or we have another page, we want the default state for that button now, summary to be gray. And now the default state for this button to be white. So it's a, it's a, it's a case of where you're switching between hover states. Now, if we click the buttons, nothing is happening at this stage. And what we need to do is actually create some actions. So right now we're on the revenue page. What I need to do is if we click this click the button we want to change the page to so we're going to click summary we want to go to actions hit page navigation and then we're going to choose summary example and then for tooltip let's just put switch to summary and if we close that and now press shift click the page will now switch to summary and as you can see it is now interacting how do we do this with icons let me remove this button these buttons and what we can do once again let's bring in new buttons so we're going to go to insert buttons blank and what I want to do in this case as we're using icons I'm going to go into fill and then turn that on sorry no not fill where is it again uh, one second sorry it is fill we want to go to fill add image and then add your icons. What I'm gonna do is go to icons. And in this case, let's use the shopping icon. And then for our fill color, what we want to do is set this to the same background as what, whatever you have. And in our case, I have a blue. So what I'm going to do is the fill color, I already selected that previously. And then I want to bring the transparency down to zero. And if we put that button there, we now have our first button. Now let's turn the outline off. Let's copy and paste this and once again let's bring in a different button I'm going to bring in global and now we want to set the transparency to 70 as we're not have we, as we've not selected that page and this is always a bit iffy I don't know why it does this but I want to set this to 50 I'm gonna set it to 70 percent okay so as we can see we have two icon buttons now. You got three, four, five icons, depending on how many pages you have and how many icons you want, it's up to you. But in our example, let's just use two. So right now we're on the summary page and this is the button we want to use. So what we need to do here is if we go to fill, the default state, we want it to be transparency at 0%. And then what we want to do for this button, we want to go on hover, we want to make that transparency zero. And now, as you can see, when we're hover hovering over this button, it is now highlighting as selected. And if we now go to our revenue page, let's just copy these buttons over to our revenue page as we're no longer using these. Let's bring these over. Now, as we're on the revenue page, we want to click this button change the default state to gray now so what we're going to do is go to um icon not icon fill change the transparency higher so we want that to be gray and then for our default state on hover we want to make that white and now for this default state we want to make this white and as you can see we can switch between the two and if we wanted to now switch pages for our actions for this button we're going to go to action page navigation and set the destination to our previous page tool to it switch page for example if I select this 
it is now Y. And if we select back, we have to put the action on this button now. Action, page navigation, and then revenue example, switch. And that's how you switch between. So hopefully that taught you how to create page navigation and use button states to create interactive reports. And you can be really creative with this. So for example, over here, I'm using icons. I've got text here. So these are buttons again, but I've used hover states of text. And now if I switch, we can switch. And as you can see on the different pages, I'm moving this to make it look like a selection. So let's say we go to regions all, and I want to switch to furniture, regions furniture. If I do that, all I've done is move this up the line on the on the other page so it looks like we now have interactive moving reports and you can be really creative with this and the opportunities are endless so if this video helped you i appreciate a like and subscribe and without further ado it's the power bi guy here and i'm checking out